Every Ross journey starts the same way, naked on the beach. Some people do things a little differently, but I like to get to a safe zone as quick as possible and farm up the materials from my starter base inside that safe zone, especially if I'm playing solo. I'd loaded into the server with the base that I wanted to build already figured out, and having that in mind made farming up for the starter all the easier because I knew exactly what it was I was aiming for. I had a rough idea where I wanted to build, so after stashing some of the loot I'd gotten along the way and farming enough materials for my starter, I went to scope out what I hoped would become my area. Thing is though, after getting there, it was pretty much night time, so I figured a little bit of recycling and gambling at bandit camp was a good way to pass the time. We have a winner. Oh, we have another winner. This looks like the right area for me, I think. I think this this looks about right. So this starters like a square with two triangles. And an airlock. Then we can wall everything in. This was a, was a Rexmoor base originally, and I only watched the build for it once. Didn't try it out either, which is probably not the best idea, but it's going to be a bit of a dodgy version of it, but it's a base that I really like, so hopefully it works out. Uh, and upgrade that, and upgrade that. that. Yeah, that needs to be there. But I've put the wrong doorway on there, but I'll fix that in a minute, that's all right. Safe. TC down. That should be a double door. I think that's I think that's right. No bear rug, it's not really a base, is it? Okay, so that's yeah, we're not looking too bad. Not looking too bad. So here's the broad strokes of where I'm living. I've put my base here in 09. Now this is in walking distance of a safe recycler at Bandit, but there's also power plant and dome relatively close by, with a small oil rig just a small flight away as well. I deliberately picked this area because I knew it would force me into roaming a little bit more, so hopefully that works out well as well. I wanted to get as much of the footprint of the base completed on the first day as I could, so the next step for me, after getting the starter down and having a little roam, was heading to bandit camp to grab a jackhammer. Well that's the first of a few runs complete. Starting to look good man. Start working on the footprint of these loot rooms. So you have triangles all the way round, square on the end, and then wall the whole lot in. This is such a dope base when it's done. Like I hope I can get through the build without wrecking it, but it is a very cool base. Spoke too soon because I already put that wall in the wrong place, but never mind. This goes the same way round, triangles all the way round, square on the end. Oh, ladder's in the way. And then wall that all in, roof it and upgrade it. And these loot rooms, when they're done and everything's upgraded, acts as like a corridor that goes round your core with a loot room at either side. It's very cool. And you go around to upgrade everything. Try and remember to go straight to stone as opposed to wood first. Those of you who left me a comment last time. Don't tell me I don't pay attention. But it is kind of impressive that of all the things that I did wrong in that last wipe, upgrading to wood before stone was something that annoyed everyone so much. But I guess you live and learn. And this is all about improvement, I suppose, in a way. So. 
first loot room. Completed it. Three bear rugs. Who am I? Got a good amount of metal and sulfur farmed already though. It's going to come in handy later. After completing the loot rooms, I figured I'd go for a little roam and explore the area a little more. This was part of the reason why I built where I did. It forced me to get out of my area and explore the map a bit more and maybe interact with things that I wouldn't necessarily interact with normally. It was also now that the first of many lock crates spawned a power plant. I figured that this would be my best chance of getting hold of a gun early game so I grabbed my bow, said a prayer, and headed up to see what I could make happen. Give me something good, give me something good. MP5 and AK, okay, right, I need to get out of here now. <laughs> right, next mission is to get this home and craft a tier two. Right, tier two crafting means I can get rid of these double doors and get some sleek garage doors going. Bosh, bosh. Dude, garage doors are so much better, double doors can suck it now also seemed like the best time to start honeycombing the base. Tomorrow was going to be compound building day, so for me to get this entire footprint completed in day one was only going to pay dividends and do myself a huge favour going into day two. We'll do above the TC and like the core as well. Just, uh, just a little bit just to help keep that safe and a bit above the loot rooms as well. Just little half walls and that, you know, nothing crazy. Just so that it makes it that little bit harder for someone to go top down. Don't want to make life easy for anyone, do you? It's one of the things I like about this base. Like, it's really simple to build. There's nothing complex. There's no pixel gaps or bunkers or anything. It's just very simple. as much of it as we can. Obviously it's pointless leaving it all twig. Make sure we're not going to wood first. We're going straight to stone. Other than that one. <laughs> oh, I'm allowed one mistake. Surely I'm allowed one mistake, yeah. Right. I think that's pretty much the footprint of it done. Um, let me just have a run around and double check. Yeah, yeah. We're looking pretty good. Dude, tell me how someone got a horse stuck there. Top tier techers. Right, so someone's already cleaned out the dome and the supermarket. That's great. Green card. All the monuments around here are just washed. So, I mean, what else can I do other than go oil? Hello, Mr. Heli Man. I would like a heli so that I can go to oil and die super quick, please. Thank you very much. Dude, honestly, oh, I'm gonna get killed on here so quick. I can feel it already. Graceful landing. I don't know what you're talking about. Graceful landing. Like a feather. Right, where are they? Let's go. Dude, is a double head body not enough? Oh, sit down, bitch. You. Where is he? Oh, there he is. See, how can the double head body not be enough? Okay, there we go. Go away. There we go. Sun. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sneaky on the side. Where are they? Where are they? There's two of them there. There was two of them. Where's the other one? Where are you? Have it. I, th 
think there's someone else here. I think I heard someone else jump on a minute ago, and I'm not certain. But I think I did. Is that... Is that... Oh, there he is. No, 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 no. Oh, why did I shoot him in the leg? Why did not I... Oh, there's so many things I could have done. Right, of course, this isn't gonna This isn't gonna work at all. He's still gonna It didn't take him well, he took most of it, I suppose. Oh <laughs> right, two supplies in yep, screw it. I'm winning. I don't care what he took. That's the equivalent to me coming here with a red card, which I don't have, so. Yeah, let's get out of here. Let's go and stash these on the beach or something, then come back. Oh, someone else is trying to supply signals. Let's stash these real quick. Bosh. Bosh. And I'm guessing that if I'm using his boat, then he's probably took my mini, hasn't he? I mean, that seems logical, but... I mean, he hasn't left tons behind, but... Oh, oh a hollow will do. That always come in handy. Where does he get... He's got to still be here, though, hasn't he? Surely. It's not up there. I didn't hear the mini take off. But then again, I might... If he flew a different way, I might not have heard it, I suppose. Right, nothing makes sense anymore. But how did he get off? How is... How did he get off here? Dude, like seriously, if I was in his boat and my mini was still on the helipad, what did he do? Did he swim out? It doesn't make it doesn't make any sense. I jumped off that way too early. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't understand it. But I'm not complaining. Comp's box is starting to look a little bit juicy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm quite happy with it. We're getting there. We're getting there. I figured that the safest place for me to throw the two supply signals I had would be into the ocean. So I grabbed the diving tank and went back on foot to get them, swam out to the nearest trash pile that I could find and threw them directly underneath it. I figured with night time coming and no one being able to see the smoke because they're under the ocean, this was pretty much the safest option that I had to get these back in one piece. But as I got out the water and back up onto this little floating pallet thing, Someone was at the abandoned military base, which was literally on the shore just there, launching MLRS rockets at a base that was about 150 metres in the other direction. Oh shit. Oh shit, it's right there. Oh no. Literally, as they, as they let go of the airdrops, that starts happening right there. Oh. Okay. Oh, so it's not bad. Oh, it's the Glock. That's the Glock. Yeah, that's not too bad. A few grenades, can't. 2C4. 2C4, 280 scrap. Right. I best pray no one's here. Is this is there someone over there? I think there is. I think I can hear someone. But, yep, there is. Sneaky, sneaky swimming in the water. Oh no. Oh, please let me get the C4 home, please. Oh, he's shooting at me. Stop it. I think he gave up. I think he gave up, or he lost track of where I was. Either way, I've made it back to shore, and that's that's a blessing in itself. We should go try and make it back to base now. Honestly, dude, my heart is beating now. <laughs> I can't believe I made it back. Let's go. Let's go. C4, back in the base. Winning, bruv. Weapons box is starting to look a little bit juicy. Not gonna lie. Who would have thought I'd have had an AK on day one, eh? Not me. I'm counting day one as a win. Feels good. Let's just hope I don't get offlined. Oh, is there anything better than coming back to a base that hasn't been offlined? I started day two farming enough wood to keep my furnaces popping all day and found a guy who was getting off the server and was willing to do a deal for two red cards. 
psyched about that deal and with a real spring in my step, I went and bought another Mini, because the one I left outside the base last night either decayed or got stolen, and headed back to Smoil, ready to take out some heavies and get some more boom. Took him more out of me than I wanted him to. Oh, Jesus. Slippery bastard. Oh, God, that's it. Oh, his mate's back as well. Oh, no, 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 no. Regroup, regroup, regroup. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Oh, Jesus. Why do I always have to make life hard for myself, eh? Well, at least everything's here. I haven't been counted. Small mercies, I suppose. With much? Jesus. Alright, come on in, let's have you. Painless. Right, here we go. Oh shit, the mini! No, I forgot to move the mini! Oh no, 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 no! Oh, every time! At least I had sense to leave the fuel in it this time. Jesus. Come on, 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 come on. The fuel can stay in it. Fuck it. Let's go. Come on. Oh, they're not glitched this time. That's a shame. Where's he going? Oh, there he is. I think I've ever seen that. That's a new one on me. Any more? There we go. Jesus. Okay. Oh, there is two bits. Okay. Well, two glitches is better than none, I suppose. Can't complain. Okay, okay. Okay, flamethrower's probably handy. What's the crate got? Oh, no. oh, another AK. Two launchers. Okay, laser. Another Glock. It's not the worst crate. I'll take it, happily. I don't know why I'm keeping these HMLMGs. I'm never going to use it. Literally never. Gunbox is looking tasty now. We're really starting to get cooking, man. It's looking... It's ridiculous. Who would have thought I had two AKs? On my flight back from Rig, I'd noticed that a lot crate had spawned at water treatment. So I figured I'd nip over there and get that started. And that 15 minutes could tick down while I was organising stuff in the base only to find that someone else had already been there and just left behind the stuff that they didn't want. I mean, it's not the worst, is it, really? It's all stuff that gets added to the collection in the end. It might only be a metal face mask and some rifle bodies and whatever, but... It all adds up. Every little helps, as Tesco say. <laughs> the one thing that annoys me about it, though, like, there's no need for it. You could just despawn that stuff and just leave it. Like, why would you leave four things in a lock crate? It's just, it's just like it's wasting everyone's time, you know? The train yard crate was a shame. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit disappointed. But my objective for today was to get on with building a compound for the base. Something that I'd never done before, and it's something that I 
feel like I should know how to do after a thousand hours in this game. Now I had plenty of stone, but I had almost zero wood. And I figured that wooden walls, for whatever reason, I don't know, seemed like the most sensible way forward. So I needed scrap to research them, and I needed a hell of a lot of wood to build them. So I grabbed some stuff to recycle a bandit and bought myself a chainsaw. Figured that would be the quickest and easiest way of getting everything done. But as I was in the middle of doing that, Smoil came back up and I figured, well, more boom before anyone else gets there might be a good idea. These guys are on it today, Jesus. Where is he? Should have reloaded, should have reloaded. Kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Sit down, sit down, bitch. Kill the red card. Remember to move the mini this time as well. Jesus. This might be my new. Let's go. Oh, MP5 AK, two face marks. Not the worst, but oh. we're starting to get really stacked, man. Quite quick. Weapons box is looking juicy. Having satisfied my need to get distracted, at least for the second, I worked my way down the tech tree to the wood walls and started crafting. I had no idea if building a compound was a tricky thing to do or not, but. Regardless, I was doing it today, whether I liked it or not. I suppose is the way to do it to place the gate first, and then tie everything into that? I don't know, is there a system for these? I'm sure, like, if, if I'm doing this a terrible way, like, please just leave me a comment and let me know. But we're going to start with a gate, I think. tied to the base but done it again done it again this is officially the first time I've ever placed a large furnace happy about that oh let's get that mini in before I forget keep that safe don't have to buy another one really. make some upgrades as well I suppose make everything look a little bit more juicy, don't they? So, don't want to make life easy for anyone. Look at that. First time ever I've had a large furnace cooking. Feels like an achievement, man, I'm not going to lie. Two rockets, and a bolty, and an MP5. Oh, okay, right, let's go. Let's go. Pushing our luck staying here any longer. I spent the second half of day two doing pretty much what I'd done on the first half. Ran Smoil a couple of more times, did some more lock crates, and tried our best to get as much boom together as we could, because tomorrow was the day that I wanted to start raiding. Slippery, wasn't he? All over the place. I've ever used this gun before. The handrails, man, get out of the way. Is that all of them? I'd managed to work a system with Small now where I could get through it so quick. I even had time to run back and depot the first half of the run and get back before the crate had unlocked 
to make sure that I can get maximum loot out of every run. C4 rockets, C4 rockets. Oh, that's the worst one. Yeah. Oh. Doesn't seem like it's worth it. But let's start this off and we can come back for it. Something about doing these at night makes them feel more safe. Perfect landing. That didn't explode. What AK? Oh Jesus, another AK. Okay. Um okay. That mini didn't explode. I'm just running back because I want to. I just figured my man's been doing so much flying today, he probably needs the exercise. Don't want to get that deep vein thrombosis, you know. Come on, have it. You two piggy. AK kills, bro. Is that what it feels like to be a Chad? Running around with an AK just killing things. It's crazy. Who would have ever thought that I'd be running around with an AK almost carefree with all this loot on me, eh? Who would have thought it? Another night of just praying that I don't get offline. Oh, another day of not being offlined. Is there a better feeling? I don't know if there is, you know. Like, the anxiety of loading back in and wondering, was I raided, can sometimes be massive. I thought I had some booms up here earlier. Just going to have a little look, see what's going on. I don't know if it was a raid. Oh, there's a mini. Where's he going? Let's see if he can... <laughs> I well, literally missed every shot. Far for the course. So is it this base? I think it was. Yeah, there's a there's a hole blown in it there. Uh, is this? Is there anyone left inside? Boxes is always a good sign. Oh, no, it's not a sleeper. Oh, hello. Hello, kitten meds. Rocket launcher. I'll take you. <laughs> second kit more meds, I'll take you too. I'll so uh, oh, we'll take the sulfur. Mm, little bits. Little bits here and there, I'll take the scrap. Alright, let's try and get out of here before he comes back. Take a couple of kits and scarpa. That was a nice start to the day. Nice couple of free kids. Beautiful. Now there was a small base out by power plant that I'd flown over a few times and for some reason was convinced that it was juicy. So I grabbed a couple satchels, a couple C4 and headed over to see if my suspicions were correct. But let's be honest, they probably weren't. Right everybody, fingers crossed. It's only a two by one but it feels juicy. How many C4 is it for one of those doors? I'm just, I'll just throw one. Last thing I want to be doing is wasting C4, man. Okay, one door down. Fingers crossed for loot, fit all his boxes. Right, let's blow his TC, get this out of the way. I can seal. Run, 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 run. Run. Get a door on. And we are secure, and there is enough wood there for a TC, but we've got to get, let's get rid of his bag first. Right, let's see what we've got. TC's alright so far. Not great, but it's alright. Sar. Not a bad start. I'm still hopeful. Still hopeful. Uh, oh, satchels are back. Okay, that's got my satchels back. And there's a full health red, two full health red, health red cards as well. I'll learn to talk, mate. Come on. Okay, metal. Hello, comps. Okay, that's a box of loot. And it's a pretty damn good box of loot, if I'm honest. Worth. The rest of the first half of this day was...
pretty self-explanatory, really. I ran the loot back to main base, ran Smoil a couple more times, and got myself psyched up about the prospect of spending the afternoon raiding. I mean, I don't think I've ever been this loaded, like, completely solo before. They see you from so far away, and at such ridiculous angles. Honestly, like, can I whiff any more? Probably, but I don't want to. Have it. All close headshots are so satisfying. <gasps> Supply signal. Hello, mate. How are you? Let's leave that here while we're doing the rest, I suppose. Oh, Jesus, there's two of them! And I picked the wrong gun. Why was there two in there? There's only ever been one this entire wipe. Why two? Honestly, if that falls off the edge... Oh, come on! What is that? I threw it in the middle. I threw that supply signal in the middle and it went in the ocean. What? Trip to a fishing village this entire way. Some stupid dumb supply signal fell in the ocean. I'm going to swim around like some kind of ridiculous idiot. And I've got to do it at night time as well. I don't, I don't like killing that guy. He lets me know if people are countering. Honestly, it's... Uh, satchels, okay. It was kind of half worth it, I suppose. Not the best supply drop, but it was alright. Look at that for a solo's comms box, man. Ridiculous. There's another base over it, it's had a hole blown for it. Whether it's a finished raid or not, I'm not sure. I don't think it is. Uh, but we're going to have a look. I went and got some C4 and some satchels and stuff just to, just in case. I'll chuck a bag down and see what's what. Alright, let's see what's what. So it looks like whoever started this raid got through two doors and then either ran out of boom or gave up. So let's carry on. Oh was, oh, was I supposed to throw two? Oh, I don't know. Get on the ladder. Get, oh. Was that supposed to be one or two for a garage door? I think it's two. Right, let's see what's in. Oh, it's a sleeper. Uh, uh. Uh. It's not the best. It's not a break-even raid. TC. Sealed. Yep. TC down. Okay. I mean, stone's good, scrap's good, some low grade's good. Overall, that was not worth it, so let's try this one. Let's see if there's anything worth having in this one. Why did that door go after only two satchels? Why did that go after only two? Are they decaying? Is this decaying? I didn't realise. Two as well. No, no, no. Oh, might as well do TC seeing as we've, we've wasted so much on it so far. Nothing. 
might as well have been nothing. Next. There's got to be something worth raiding around here somewhere. I haven't got enough room to get through that. Let's craft up some more satchels, I suppose. I assume that there's something on this server that's actually worth raiding. Like, there has to be something somewhere, surely. Like, it can't all be empty two by ones. So, we crafted nine satchels. That should be enough to do something. Maybe I should go to Smoil, see if I can get another C4 out of the crate. It might not be a bad idea. I mean, it, I can get through it pretty quick now. Yeah, f fuck it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so for the record, burst fire on MP5 is not the one. Come on. Oh, supply signals, okay. It's just longing it out a bit more, isn't it? He's a bit wonky. He's a bit wonky. Oh no 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 no! Why do I make life hard for myself? Honestly, I wonder how much quicker my wives would go if I stop doing stupid things like flying into the side of an oil rig. Right, this is the last one, I think. And if this doesn't work, I'm just, there's nothing good in here. I'm just going to get that base away and have done with it. So it all hinges on this one. Honestly, one wood, one metal isn't filling with confidence. Rockets are fun, though, aren't they? Wooden door. Wooden door inside. Yeah, there we go. One more rocket. Full of juice. It's not because I can't get in it. Come on. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, doesn't look great. Still doesn't look great. There's some comps, but it still doesn't look great. Other box is going to be full of satchels and C4 though. Four satchels, okay. Blue card. What's mm, TC? 400 scrap, okay. I can't seal properly because of where that mini is outside, so I'm just going to take the best stuff and go, I think. There's not a lot worth hanging around for. I mean, there's a couple of low tier guns, some ammo, and some comps. Well, I can't, can't completely hate on all of it. It could have been a lot worse. Sewing kits always come in handy for ammo, and you need bear rugs. Okay, well that was a slight step up, so let's keep going while we've got some satchels left. There's one by fishing village I'm gonna try. It's only little, but you never know. Here she is. How empty is this one gonna be? Fingers crossed everybody. It's gonna be empty. Oh, it's gonna be empty. Waste of my time. I don't even know why I'm bothering to seal it to be honest. There's gonna be nothing in it. Yeah. yeah, that was a waste. Last one. This is absolutely the last one. There's always a part of me that feels a little bit bad blowing up Brit's door. <laughs> I mean, like the door skin is actual base, of course. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Okay, hum long. Face mask. It could be worse. 
That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay. Well, we've got two supply signals left, so I suppose I should throw them and then think about what to do with the base. Sod's Law says these supply signals will be full of C4 and rockets now, though. There's only one way to find out. Just chuck them and see. I keep thinking that's a person outside. It's a bloody pig. Oh. There's a mini coming. There they are. There's a mini coming. Where are you? There you are. Is he coming to try and steal? I think he is. Or is he just... Yeah, he's got to be, isn't he? Right. Crunch time. Let's see if we can get him this time. Yeah, go on. Fuck off. See you later, son. Don't come back. Uh, force actuals, cut the stars. Okay. Okay. Some boom. Of course that one's got 2C4 in it. Of course it's got 2C4, just as I'm about to get off. Having run out of time for the wipe, I threw it up in chat to see if anyone wanted the base. It was absolutely chock full of comps and guns and everything else. Of course someone got back to me real quick and I bagged them in. It feels like it feels pretty good to give away all this stuff to someone who's just starting. It's uh it's like a, a little just a little nice little bit of karma to finish it off. I gave him a Tommy to get rid of me, but he said he had a better idea. So I said my goodbyes and let him send me on my way. <laughs> yeah, he was right. That was a way better way of doing it. Jesus Christ. A fun end to a fun wipe. On to the next one. I just wanted to take a second at the end just to thank everyone that got involved with the last video. It was one of my highest performing of the year and the feedback to it was amazing. The amount of subs and views and likes and comments and everything just really took me by surprise. It really blew me away. So I just want to say thank you. There'll be plenty more. And if you enjoyed this one, please hit the subscribe button, drop a like, leave me a comment, let me know. I really do read every single one of them, and every single one of them does make a difference. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next one.